Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 58 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. This is actually kind of a cool one. Um, I'm currently building a dice-based game um, for this channel as well, and I had to get pretty familiar with a pen child and like creating elements. So this one should be fun. So <clears throat> without touching the HTML file, um, use JavaScript, create exactly 100 buttons, and add each button inside the container element provided. So we have this guy right here. Um, unfortunately, Udemy, their exercise tool does not support uh, to the append method. So you will need to use append child. Uh, so I'm not super clear what this part right here is, support to the append method, but um, we'll just use a pen child, that's fine. So let's do append child JS. Yeah, what was the previous? Okay, so yeah, so append and append child. So um, my guess is this just means you can't use a pen, you have to use a pen child um, for the test to pass, which is kind of whatever. Um, let's do a pen child here. Um, the, okay, so, you know, blah, 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 read, read, read. The append method supports multiple arguments and appending strings. Fortunately, we can't use that, so we need to use append child. And you'll see chaining does not work because it's going to return the child element. That's fine. OK, so this is pretty. All right, so we're creating a new paragraph, and we're appending it to the body. So that's kind of what we want to do, but we need to do that with buttons, and we need to do it a hundred times over. So um, let's just use these guys as examples. And let's see. So we need to create a hundred. Each button must have some text inside. Text doesn't matter. Um, each button must be appended inside the container div. So first thing we probably want to do is grab this container div because we're going to need that. So we'll do const, we'll do container div, and we'll get document query selector, and we'll do container. And again, you could have used um, get element by ID, but I just, I always use this, and that's why I did. So the next thing we want to do is we need to do something 100 times. So we have a couple options here. We could just do you know, one by one. And actually, let's, let's get one working on the board, and then we can kind of work from there. So, all right, so we have a button here, and then um, what is this up here? So we got, we're going to create the element. So let's uh, document.create element, and we'll add a button. And then the button needs to have something in it, so we can do inner text, and we'll just do... Um, Colt, and then I think we just so document that body. So we can we want to append it to the container div. So we should be able to do container div dot append child button. And okay, cool. So all right, so we got one on the board. Okay, sweet. So um, I mean, realistically, we could. Uh, <laughs> We could just do this, copy and paste it a hundred times, but we're programmers now. We're smarter than that. Um, we we work smarter, so we don't have to work harder. So um, I'm thinking a for loop. So we do let i equals zero. i is less than a hundred, and i plus plus. And one thing again to kind of keep in mind is um, remember we're starting at zero, so we actually only want to do 99 because 0 to 99 is 100. And that's why we're doing this less than 100 instead of less than or equal to. And that's also why we're not doing 101 because this will actually be 100 because, again, we're starting at 0. We're not starting at 1 like you traditionally would think of when you're counting, um, you know, just kind of regular numbers. So, all right. So if that worked for 1, I mean, this should really... Um, work for all of them, but 
Let's see if that's the case or not. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a lot. Um, I don't know if that's 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, yeah, let's just run this out and see if we can get this pass or not. And awesome. So this did pass. So, um, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Um, you will, th this is good to know. Um, and I really like that people are learning it. Um, it's just not something you use a lot. Um, a lot of times the HTML is kind of already set, um, but I do really, really like this. And again, I had to uh, kind of learn how this whole uh, create element and appending stuff worked because I am working on a, a dice game for this channel and just kind of that I want to build. I want to put on Facebook Marketplace or not uh, the Facebook game so like you can play because it's a game that me and my family played growing up, you know, over the holidays. So I think it'd be cool if you don't live close to your family members, um, you know, that maybe we can kind of get a game up so you could still play that. But um, this is a lot of fun. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next lecture.